what Joe raised, and the, the main theme is education, educating kids at, from the high school level, college level, about drugs, because I think what Joe brought up was a great point. First, I want to say that we, we, we were neighbors because our headquarters is in uh, Roslyn Heights. We're on the, uh, the South Service Road between uh, uh, Roslyn Road and Glen Cove Road, a big mansion that's uh, right down there. Yeah, so we, we actually, we have our pupil personnel breakfast tomorrow morning in which we invite uh, pupil personnel people from all the school districts to talk about this and many of the other issues to try to share with each other what kind of concerns are there and how are we working together, what can we do better. So I think, you know, community-based agencies and schools, parents and others do need to come together periodically and that's part of the education. Part of the education is not being strangers, is uh, having a connection with one another so that if you need a resource, whether it's an individual or an organization or uh, something that's available in a school that that's readily available for you. But education is key. It's uh, something that has to start when kids are very young. Uh, but it's not only the education of, uh, you know, the police officer bringing in the board with all the different kinds of drugs and then identifying what they are, which is, you know, part of some of the traditional education, which is fine. But it's also education about about feelings, about uh, how you deal with different feelings, whether it's you know anger or sadness. Uh, it's education about asking for help. It's education about stress and how to cope with stress. Uh, it's education about socialization and about how to make friends and how to be connected. It's programs uh, that reduce isolation Addiction is a disease of isolation, where the addict is someone who feels utterly alone in the world. And so from a very young age, if the, the institutions, from the family to the school, to athletic teams, to clubs in the community, if people are uh, focused on helping people to feel connected, to belong, to be competent, to be good at something, uh, to have healthy relationships with adults in their lives, that goes a long way. It's not the only answer because addiction is a disease and some people become addicted after they have surgery. They take painkillers and then they can't let them go. Uh, some people, they have genetic predisposition, whether it's the alcoholism or other kinds of addictions. So education is a big part of it, but um, it's not the only answer for every person, which is why on the other end of the continuum, which we talked about earlier, along with prevention, treatment is so critical. Having the resources for those people where the education and the prevention you know, may not have caught hold for them, they need a place to get help so they can deal with this chronic disease long term and live productive lives and feel okay about themselves as they might if they were struggling with any other kind of disease. Well, to me, schools, it's all about what you do and what you look at day one at the chalkboard and your version of success. Um, some schools, you know, it's really about, you know, getting the kids to pass the grades and, you know, reaching those kind of numbers. And, you know, other schools, you know, look at kids as a you know, just you know a person and not just a mind so I think you know uh, you know while you can't do everything for a student when they're coming out of school um, and I think if you did do everything you know that would you know that wouldn't be a you know a very good purpose because kids really have to be empowered and find their own you know skill you know building skills but I, I do think you want to give kids something and and you have to be organic and you have to find you know, way to involve therapists, um, you know, health teachers have to be involved, but it's really investment in the student as a whole person uh, and to give them, you know, any bit of solution building that you can give, you know. So it's really about teaching these kids to swim uh, when the waters, you know, may get more intensified as they get older. Yeah.